Hi, I'm Jen and my role here at Carpentaria Kids is provisional psychologist. This is Carpentaria Kids therapy room. We usually have kids come in here with their parents for individual therapy sessions. The age group that we work with is from birth to six years or when they start full-time school. The type of therapy that we do here is relationship based. So we work with the parent and the child on building like a platform for development. The parent really gets involved in the sessions um, and works with the child um, to build their developmental goals. So that could be around communication or play or behavioural issues, it just, it just depends. So the parent will follow the child around the room depending on their interest to promote connection or interaction with a, a parent and a child. So the parent can reflect the child's ideas and intentions, smiles, eye contact. Um, I guess those magic moments again um, can happen within, within a mirror. The importance of having a space like this is the child can really come out of their shell, I guess, and, um, and show us what their ideas are and, and what they like to play with. And, and they build their confidence and I guess their sense of identity um, in a space like this because they have the one-on-one -on -one undivided attention from their parent and the parent also sees them and, um, and sees what their ideas are and, and, and that's really quite motivating and um, powerful for the child. I work with kids when they first come into the service and their parents and they range from you know kids with autism and, and global developmental delays, kids with CP and Down syndrome, kids from trauma background I guess as well. So yeah there is quite a big um, variety of kids that come through our service and so they do have their individual challenges and well, I guess they're finding themselves in the world and that's that's challenging for them. And then I also do some work with um, parents themselves to talk about behavioural issues or sleep or toileting or, um, or sometimes when, when parents are finding things a bit tricky and, and need some extra help. Parents and families really appreciate when, when you're open and honest and able to address the hard things or the unsaid things in the room and I think that's where like it is meaningful for families is when we can say those hard things and not, not gloss over it. I did psychology at uni and I started working with kids with autism. Well yeah, I guess I've always been interested in how we think and, and human behaviour and once I kind of got into psychology and into the industry and, and did that work experience during my degree as well, it kind of found like, oh yeah, this is what I want to do. So, I've yeah, I've come a long way I guess. I saw an advertised therapy assistant role, so yeah, it gave me a good insight, I guess, into the workings of an allied health team in the disability sector, and, and yeah, my role has changed over the years here, and, which has been really valuable. The role that I'm in now, I'm a provisional psychologist, so I'm still doing my training. Like a typical day for me is seeing a few families in a day. So come into work and, and set up a room, thinking about what goals that the family are working on and what's important for them and coaching a parent to work with their child and, and I guess delighting in, in the magic moments that they have. And then I guess reflecting that back to the team or um, asking another therapist about their thoughts about their communication or their play um, and getting some feedback from, from the team as well. We have psychologists, OTs, occupational therapists, physios and speech therapists. We all work together, I guess, in, in thinking about kids and, and their development. It's not one without the other, it's all kind of keeping, keeping the kids' development in mind. I didn't know that I'd end up in the disability sector and, and so my advice would be to just give it a go do a placement or be a volunteer or just give it a go and to see if it is something that, that you like and um, because it, it is so varied and, and there's so many roles within the disability sector I guess so, so give it a go and, um, and stick with it. Like it's taken me a while to get to where I want to be so um, it's definitely worth it.